Where's the camera? Is there a can of ca can of camera button on this? Don't overdo it. I just get out of here, scorpion. No more poisoning me. Oh, punch pedicles. Oh, I was facing the wrong way. Oh, it's the snake that poisons me. Okay. Okay, hold on. Can you? I'm gonna die. Is everyone all right? At least I got an egg. Can I level up? Okay, let me. Still poison. God damn. I'll just avoid fights and then we'll go to the. Oh, what is this? Boy, what? About that fight earlier. Are you gonna tell me I got in the way? You weren't bad. It looks like you've improved a little. What? You'll need to learn more about yourself and your opponent. If you understand your skills, you can fight the enemy more effectively. Sometimes you will fight enemies armed with poison. Still, over time, you will find your abilities suppressed via magic. The difference between knowing and not knowing those dangers and how to avoid them is immense. Merely swinging your sword is not enough. Don't forget that learning also leads to strength. Kratos, Mr. Man, I spend too much time talking. Let's get going. Don't dawdle. Combos and sound effects were added to the training manual. Oh. Nice. Oop. Oasis. Ch trie. Trie. <laughs> um, poison carries over. There is fashion in this game that comes to special titles. I remember they said that. That there was fashion. I just couldn't remember how <laughs> how they got it. I have not gotten... It's I'm super early and he requires 80, 80 ABI. Oh yeah, that's definitely like a mid to late game, Digimon. Yeah, definitely not, not much for early game. <laughs> Also, I don't know what key it is on the keyboard where you can make the map larger on your screen. Oh, I will definitely figure that out. <laughs> I'm so beat. I want to rest. Yeah, let's head to the inn and then talk. All right, they better give me a free refresh. Probably just going to use Guillemot for now. Guillemot's not a bad option. Guillemot's not a bad option. Well, who is my hacker's memory starter? It was Tentobon. <laughs> In other words, these X-spheres are amplifiers that awaken our dormant capabilities. Oh, I wonder if I could use one too? That would be difficult. X-spheres are harmful to the body without a key crest. Um, can't we make a key crest? As I told you before, a key crest is made by, pro by processing inhibitor core. Then engraving it with a crest to control the x sphere attached to its surface. It is said to be a secret art known only to the dwarves. I'm surprised then Dirk wasn't more like sought after. I mean, I guess maybe that's why he lives alone. But I'm surprised people weren't really like bothering him left and right. Yeah, I can engrave that charm or crest, but only my dad could process the ore. Well, if there are... Well, if there are any inhibitor ore among these materials. Rain! Did you bring these from our house? Of course. They're valuable research materials. This is a holy vase from the Balakruf... What? Balakruf Mausoleum? This is a jeweled sword from the Martel Temple. This is a priest's crown from the Asgard Ruins. This is yellow ore from the Hema Mines. Can we go to all these places? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's never brought up, but he just kind of vibes in the forest. You'd think he'd be more important. That's what I thought. <laughs> like, if he can make such important things as, like, processing x spheres, like, shouldn't there be, like, a... I don't know. Like... <laughs> I feel like, if anything, someone would try to go after, like, kidnap Dirk, if anything. And that would be maybe where the story... Like, like, I could see that being its own, like, starting storyline, I guess. Like, Lloyd's dad was taken away. He's on a quest to go rescue him, you know what I mean? Because he's a dwarf who knows how to make these really important things. <laughs> what the? It's all junk! Oh, she's gonna slap you for that. What did you just say? I was looking at that shiny thing on the ground, too. I was like, what is that? Hmm, this is. 
Ah, I picked that up from... Wait, I can't read. I picked that up in front of the human ranch. It was engraved with angelic language, so I took it home. Professor, this is a key crest. Oh, cool, we just managed to have one free of use, huh? <laughs> this crest is half worn off. It's, a, it's unusable like this. Well, never mind. I can fix that. Well, never mind again. <laughs> I take back my never mind. Don't worry, Professor. You'll be able to equip that X for tomorrow. Really? Thank you, Lloyd. I am sorry to make you go through the trouble, but I appreciate it. Okay, it's done. I'll go give it to the Professor. Mr. Ben! If you're done working, you should get some sleep soon. I know. Alright, where is everybody? Oh god. Go out. Anything we can do here? Where is everyone? Are you all in different rooms? This is Rain and Genus's room. Go in. Well, we have to give them this thing. Oh, he's already sleepy, boy. Oh, we should have visited Professor, Colette first. Awake? Oh, well. Yes, I've been organizing the data we've collected about monsters. And what are you doing up at this hour? I was fixing your key crest. Thank you, but you mustn't overexert yourself. Rain's voice actor sounds familiar. It's going to be a long journey after all. I don't mind if it takes a while to fix. So are you saying that it's okay for Genus and me to come along on this journey? Wasn't that your intent from the beginning? Stop pretending. <laughs> oh yeah, I fixed the key crest. So here, take it. Cool, I assume everyone's gonna get one eventually. You fixed it already? Thank you, Lloyd. So this is an X-Sphere. Ask Genus to show you how to use it. Wait, Genus of all people knows how to use it even though he's not a dwarf? Oh look at him, he's sleepy boy. He's a sleepy boy. Can I, can I, I can only talk to Rain, it seems. Professor, I'm sorry. About what? I dragged Genus into this. Oh, that. Things wound up like this because I tried to save someone from the ranch without thinking things through. Do you regret what you've done? I don't know. I couldn't just ignore someone suffering right before my eyes. What you did was morally correct, but was against the law. Yeah, this is basically moral of the of the conversation here. Break the law, if it's unmoral. <laughs> if it's immoral, I'm just kidding. Can't change what's already happened. Or basically, laws aren't always moral. <laughs> Yay! Overthrow, overthrow the law. <laughs> but you can change what's going to happen. Change yourself as well as the world around you. Yeah, I guess you're right. Alright, let's visit Colette. <laughs> Revolution! Thank you, Lloyd. Sleep well. Oh my god, her eyes sparkle. I have that expression on my VTuber model, too. One day you guys will get to see that. <laughs> so this is an X-Sphere. Marvelous! Mr. Man, what are you doing, sir? Where is he going at this hour? Uh, I wanted to visit Colette, but let's see. Let's follow him. If we leave him alone, we might miss it. Oh, is he petting the dog? Her VA is Kari Walgren. I don't know what she's been in that you may know, but a lot of minor roles and additional voices. Oh, that name doesn't ring a bell to me. Uh, maybe she just sounds like someone. Whoa! Lloyd. Oh, that was voice acted. I'm sorry to have startled you. Startled isn't the word for it. You know what just hit me? Lloyd's outfit kind of reminds me of no one, Xenoblade 3. I think it's the jacket. The jackets look really similar. You'd best not stand behind me. I won't. Do you like animals? No, 
Not particularly. It's okay, Kratos. I don't like animals that much either. Well, no, it seems to be quite Except for cats. I like cats. Even though I'm very allergic to them, sadly. I can't even be in the same room as a cat. Or I start getting like reactions strangers. immediately. I once had a pet long ago. And then it died, and then that's why it doesn't like animals. Really? Lloyd. Uh, you know where you know her from? What What's she in? Like that for? Saber? Saber from... what again? That that tickles my brain. Your swordmanship is unrefined. You should focus a little more on eliminating your vulnerabilities. He said, stop being weak, Goofy. Our Artoria? I don't know who that is. Life. Fate series? Oh, I have not watched the Fate ah, series, so I do not know. Well, I mean, he is older and perhaps more wiser than you, Lloyd. Well, a lot better than me. Damn. <laughs> At least he realizes. I recently got through this portion, but I don't remember if I did this part in the hotel. Of visiting Mr. Man while he's outside. Oh no, can I not talk to Colette anymore? Or I, I'm not going to get the conversation from Colette that I would have wanted. Damn. Or was she even asleep? Oh, she's not even here. God damn it. Damn, did I miss dialogue? Oh well. Oh well, oh well. Okay, let's save here. Uh, yes. Alright, and I assume everybody's outside. Yep, we're the last ones to wake up. No, talking to Rain in her room. Oh! You didn't- you didn't give her the- the key quest? Interesting. We can finally head out to release the seal. Yes, I'll do my best. The seal Remiel spoke of is in the Triet- Triet ruin southwest of here. Cool, let's go check out that seal. We'll see if that enthusiasm lasts. I'll be fine, just you watch. Oh, I just remembered. Let me give you this. Alright, is this where I should start stocking up on equipment and stuff? Acquired monster list. Gathering data on your enemies is useful for protecting the Chosen. I... I'm going to do it? I'll help too. Just think of it as homework. Oh no, even when we're banished we still get homework. Ew. <laughs> What up, Kuro? Hello, hello. How are you? How are you? Thank you for dropping by. Hope you're doing well. I don't remember the scene. Probably just from the time of death by the game around 5 p.m. the other day, so you probably just don't remember. Oh, so you're just EP. You were just EP, basically. We should get going. Rain, join the party! Okay, sweet. Um, I, fe I feel like Rain gives off huge, like, support character vibes, but... Alright, chat. Hold on. After this conversation. Other than the Chosen, our group doesn't look like one that's on a- Oop. You still don't trust Lloyd and Genus. They are much too young to bear the fate of the world. I'm concerned that they will not be able to handle this journey. Well, we still don't know your story either, Mr. Man. While I may be an elf, I'm still just a school teacher from a small village. And you're a mercenary who fights for money. I don't think we're fit to handle the task of saving the world either. Wouldn't you agree? Indeed. Okay, chat. Tell me, uh, tell me what I should buy. What it, what is recommended? I should buy. Pops, we bought the um, we brought the beast hide. Oh, thank you, kid. Okay, I'll give you this. Soft leather. I'm a customizer. I'll make you a new armor out of the soft leather I just gave you and the beast hide you brought. Um, what's recommended? Wait. Beast Fang, Chakram. I don't own a Chakram. Is a Chakram like a weapon that I have to get somewhere? Okay, let's make the, the slither. Oops. But what you can here and craft what you can. But don't get rid of all your gear. I don't think I've sold any gear yet. Oop, whoops, I did not mean to skip that. Depending on who does the customization, the end result will be different. 
So I should think carefully before customizing. Oh no. Okay, gotcha. Thanks, Pops. So much. Okay, I was gonna do a little more gravelly voice for him, but didn't get the chance to. Capes, they're cheap and, and accessories. You can toss them on your main party for now and get extra defense. Okay, let's get some capes then. Um. Should I also be buying weapons for everybody? I have a decent amount of money. Or actually, let me see what I already have to equip first. Um, let me see. I don't know if we uh, got too many items while we're out and about, but let's see. Uh, anything different for Lloyd? Oop, not that. Uh, that's much better. Poison charm. <laughs> wow, this would have been useful earlier. <laughs> okay, so that's Lloyd. Let's see. Genus. Oh, whoops. What is that? No, I don't want to play as Genus just yet. I want to get a little more comfortable playing as Lloyd first before I start um, using other party members. Oh, what? Mm, Nova's less. White Cloak. Ooh. Okay. I guess we don't have a lot of materials. Oops. Um, I don't think I picked up any weapons, but... Oops. Keep doing that by accident. Okay, guess not. I think Colette has the chakra man. I've only ever played as Lloyd. <laughs> I feel like I I tend to switch out characters I think after after a little bit, not too long. Maybe like maybe the next area I'll probably start switching. Okay, let's buy some stuff. Um Colette did not have a chocolate on her, but let's buy this. Uh how do I switch people? There we go. Oh, she does have it on her. Okay. Oh, maybe I should have taken that off. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Okay, now, uh, should I craft here? Should I craft this dual ring? Mm, oh. JD Mustangs, hi, nice to meet you. I don't think this is our first time. It says you're not a first time chatter. I feel like I recognize your name, that you've been here before. Should I craft this? Okay, I'll craft it. <laughs> I'll craft it. It doesn't say you're a first timer. I guess you. Uh, that means you've been here before. But I feel like I do remember your name. I don't remember what stream it was. But glad you're playing this game. Maybe you do. Maybe you showed up in a past, past uh, Symphonia stream. But either way, thank you for joining back in for returning. Oh, that's a lot of extra stuff. Okay, and then I guess we're. Could I keep that flying disc and then potentially I could craft that into something better? Yep, it's been a while. Oh, it's been a while, so maybe not even a Tales of Symphonia stream, but welcome um, for deciding to come back. I appreciate it. Um, okay, let me also buy... Uh, items, like healing items. Okay, let's buy... Um, why can't I buy... Oh, there we go. Let's buy three. And orange gels, let's buy two. Um, holy bottles. Let's buy like two. Uh, two. Okay. And I know there's also equipment somewhere. Who's selling the equipment? Was it you? Although we already spent a good amount of money, so. Um, okay. Ribbon. Ribbon, beret. Okay. Gloves. Little defense. What does this do? Capes. A generic game of cloth. A star accessory for rookies. Okay, so... Lele, explain it to me. Explain it to me. What do these capes do? Um... Well, probably Persona. 
Persona was a while ago, dang! Well, I'm glad you stuck or you st <laughs> you're still deciding to come back. Was it Persona 3 portable or reload? That's been a while. Um, possi possibly always going to keep weapons and armor to craft something else and sell any duplicates you've got. Equip them. But, like, what did they do? Like, what did they do? What did they do? What did they do? What did they do? You can toss them on your main party. Oh, extra defense. Oh, that's what you said. Okay. Um, they're quite cheap. Okay, let's buy a couple. Uh, oh, my game froze. We'll buy, like, how many can I buy? Mm, okay, do you think I should buy four or just a little bit? The two character can, so two per character. I think four is good, or should I save my money? Because I could also use these. I could also buy the gloves. I'll buy two gloves. And like... One, one ribbon. Alright, let's buy these. Okay, hopefully we won't regret that. And we'll put the cape on him. And then, let's see, put a cape on you. Oops. Uh, and we'll put a ribbon on you, a glove on you, and a cape on you. Okay. And then I don't think we're using Raid in the party right now, but that's okay. Oh god. Eh, my button's not working all of a sudden. Okay, we'll put gloves on you, and then yeah, we'll stick with that. Let's let's say that's good. It takes a while to get decent accessories, so I just grab the cakes or cakes, <laughs> the cakes, the capes early. Okay, we have four. We'll use that for now. Um, where's? Let me let me save again one more time in the. In the, uh... In the end. Excuse me, woman! Jesus. <laughs> Save. Oops. Okay, are there any side quests here that I can pick up before we, like, leave the area? Because, uh, we haven't really come across any. When do side quests start becoming available? Is it these guys? Oh, wait. Uh, meow. Welcome to the cat's expedition, dude. You will need help with something. Request expedition. At, um, should I do these, or should I wait? Unvisited areas. Right on time. Unvisited areas. Do you guys think I should do this now or later? I, you never did these. I don't believe so. And the cats are everywhere. Okay. Okay. I mean, if it, if they're not that important, then I won't do them. At least not until I understand the game properly. Um, you wouldn't bother right now? Okay. No side quest. Pork! Um, we don't have a lot of money, so I'm not gonna buy cooking stuff just yet either. Okay, let's let's just assume that we're ready to go. Um, what direction are we heading? Synopsis, the quest. After hearing their story, Kalala, Lloyd, and the Gushinger, journey, the Seal of Fire. Lloyd's group began by heading to the Triet Ruins, which lay southwest. Okay. There lay the Seal of Fire, which the angel Remiel had told Kalala about. Okay, so we're going southwest. Alright, time for the next area. They pretty much help you find if you miss things or how many enemies aren't scanned yet. Mm, okay, so that's like if I'm going for, let's say, the completionist route. Alright, is this a path? Is this southwest? Oh, should I be fighting things? I probably should be, huh? We should be grinding. Right? <laughs> let's get this over with. <laughs> Oh god. Demon Fang! Get him! 
There is quite a bit of a... Not delay, but I forget that you kind of have to finish your move first before you... Oh god. It can guard. Nice, nice. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll just fight stuff along the way. Is this the correct Southwest? <laughs> Oh my god, this is so much easier with four people in the party now. Let's go. <laughs> Although the experience amount we're getting is not a lot. Okay, I'll just run into things. Run in as we go. One right after another. I'm I'm definitely a, a tryhard when it comes to JRPGs. I I'm a tryhard and an overachiever. I overgrind and I over over estimate enemies. Oh, I think it's north of where you are? North? North? Where the heck am I going then? This ain't southwest. Oh, bruh. Reinforcements, huh? Reinforcements, but extra experience. I forgot that the game kind of auto targets for me. Windblade! Genshin! Oh, speaking of Genshin, does anyone here play Genshin? The, the new area came out today? I haven't played it yet. Or Genshin, there's a new update today. Natlin? I haven't I haven't booted up the game yet. I haven't pre-installed either, so I'm gonna have to wait for that. Maybe I'll play after stream. Used to? Oh, I've definitely been keeping up since the game came out. Luckily, I've, I've, I tend... I, I don't know, something about Genshin. I really... I, I can keep up with it. <laughs> I'm playing it right now. Oh, me, me. How's the new... Uh, have you... I'm really behind on Fontaine storyline. I haven't finished the Fontaine storyline. Uh, oh. I'm seriously tired of this desert. Well then, do you want to go back to the village? How am I supposed to do that? I was banished. Now stop talking as if you were on vacation. S sorry. Hey, he can complain every now and then. Um, I'm very behind on the Fontaine storyline. I haven't even finished Fontaine storyline, actually. Um, the last thing I did was, um, the thing with Risley and Chlorida Chlordine? With, like, the- where they froze the water. Uh, the infected water or the cursed water or something. I'm so behind. Uh, I need to do Fontaine's- the rest of Fontaine's main story and then I can- get on Nalan. Even though I've been playing since the beginning, I just, like, put off main story stuff so hard, man. <laughs> You're still in the U.S. story and I played since the first Carol. I dropped the game early. I definitely will say with Genshin, they've done a good job of improving the game um, over time. I definitely feel like the game has gotten much more engaging, much more better. And their storytelling has also gotten better as well. Um... Definitely, definitely the game gets better with each region. I will assure you that. So, I mean, even if you don't like it now, just know that if you continue to play, you'll enjoy it more, is what I'd say. Today's the new update right before now, and now will be next month. Oh, it's next month. Okay, never mind. So excited for, oh, the end of Fontaine is amazing. Yeah, I really need to catch up on Fontaine. I'm so behind on main story stuff. Like, I play, oh god, my voice, hold on. <clears throat> Haven't had water this entire stream. Um, so, when I play Genshin, I'm that person who, like, 100%s <laughs> every land area, so that's kind of what I've been doing, rather than story, because I want those, those Fremo gems. Um, okay. Um, this isn't the north that, whoa, that you were talking about, right, Lele? Kratos, what is it? Why did you take on the job of guarding Colette? Hmm. I'm a mercenary. That's how we earn money to live. In other words, it's just a job. That's correct. That's really all. Yes. Damn. No feelings there whatsoever. Okay, hold on. Don't worry. Leave it to me. You're the same. You like to get everything you can. If I the less money I can spend, the better. I think I have every Fontaine character except Sigween. I, I really wanted is that how you pronounce her name? The 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 girl the the most recent one that we just had. Zigween. I really wanted her, but I unfortunately didn't get to play a lot this past month because I was busy like almost every day. 
And so I, I wasn't able to get her. I think I got up to 40 pity. And I, and I was really tempted. I was like, oh, I really, I really want her just because I have all the other Fontaine characters. So it'd be weird if I didn't have her. But I guess I'm gonna have to wait for a rerun because I was not able to get her in time. <laughs> Sig Sigween? It's pronounced Sigween. Okay, got Sigwin? Sigwin? Okay. She, was she a healer? Because I, I also have Kokomi, so it's like, if, if she's... If, if, like, she's not gonna be any better than Kokomi, then <laughs> that's another thing. But yeah, I was like, damn, I really should, I really just wanted her because I wanted all the Fontaine characters. You just been playing a ton of Star Rail. I have not played Star Rail because I'm already juggling a lot of other, um, gotcha games. And I knew that if, <laughs> if I got, um, if I got, um, Star Rail, it'd kind of be over for me. Because I'm also playing, like, two other gotcha games. Um, I almost downloaded the game for Boot Hill. <laughs> I- the Boot Hill almost made me give in. I was so close. Um, it's south, it'll be in the desert. Who did- did- who told me north? Who told me north earlier? I blame Lele. <laughs> oh god, he ran up to me. I'm on a mobile and this map is a little disorienting, even best case scenario. Are you talking about this game, or...? Or Genshin. Are you talking about Genshin? Windblade! She heals more than Kokomi, but does less things, so not better overall, I'd say. Oh yeah, because I also kind of use Kokomi as DPS, because my current build in Genshin is Kokomi, Fischl, uh, Dendro Traveler, and uh, Baiju. Moishi's worries. What's wrong? Noishi is worried about you because you haven't drank any water at all. I'm fine. Give priority on the water to Genus and the Chosen. I just had a lot earlier. I drink plenty too. There you go. Noishi is worried about you. Stop being so tough and drink a little. Yeah, stop being an alpha male. Hmm. Alright. Um... Um, and I use the because they're like my hyper bloom team like I'll have dendro traveler and baiju do um, Dendro application and then Fischl's Oz helps with electro application and then just use Kokomi for that extra water and then boom lots of hyper bloom damage. It's great <laughs> Boo Hill made me just a little gay Dude, I I was I really almost downloaded the game for Boo Hill. I was like I will play this game from the ground up if it means I could get boot hit. I was so tempted, but I restrained myself. I was like, Krypta, you know for a fact, if you play Honkai Star Rail, you will end up spending at some point, and you're already playing other gacha games. You have to be smart with your money. <laughs> Hyper Bloom is so great, dude. I'm Dendro is like the best thing to happen in Genshin for so long. I remember a lot of people were feeling really stale, with the battle system, and then they added Dendro, so that was great. And then, all the fun tank characters are really fun to play, so I'm really glad that, um, Genshin kind of has known how to, uh, that's not where we're going, has known how to make itself much better. Like, they didn't just stick with people we're familiar with, they, they actually worked to improve, even the overworld. I feel like Fontaine is much more fun to explore. And Sumeru, but then again, who even likes exploring Sumeru? That gigantic ass desert. I hate that desert so much. We need C6 Fischl, man. I, luckily, since I've been playing the game um, since it came out, I've managed to pull Fischl in banners and never had to spend on her, thank goodness. But yeah, her, her new build with the Fontaine. Uh, I forget which which set it is, but it's a new Fontaine set. Dude, she does so much damage. It's insane. I started playing Honkai Star Rail again because of Archon, but I have a harder time keeping up with the game. It doesn't feel as chill as Genjin for me. Really? I, I hear people say, like, I know Star Rail is supposed to be different, but people say it's easier to play due to, I guess, like, maybe grinding abilities? I'm not sure. Um, Nalan characters look very interesting. They have unique mechanics that sound very fun. I like where it's going. I was a little bit disappointed in Natlin because I was expecting it to be like a war wasteland like it was originally described, but I trust the Genshin creators. I have, I don't, I'm not disappointed in too many things in Genshin. Like I don't have too many criticisms. Well, I mean, I do, but like not too many. 
So I trust that they're gonna make Natlin fun. It's just very different from what I think we were all expecting. <laughs> I'm so nervous in Hunk I Still right now. I'm on a streak of winning 50-50s and you're scared. Dude, that was me and all the Fontaine characters. The reason why I have all the Fontaine characters is because I won the 50-50 like every time. Every time. And I broke that with not being able to get Sigwin. Or Sig... Sig... Or Sigwin? Sigwin, sorry. Because uh, I didn't uh, play enough. That one was just me not being able to play enough. Not because I, I lost a 50-50, sadly. But I guess I can get the next few Natlin characters. <laughs> who's on the banner now? Because we're not on Natlin yet. So who's who's on the current? Oh, is it the is it the perfume lady? The per the Fontaine's perfume lady. Is that who's next? Wait, did they announce her as a playable character? I can't remember. I forgot to watch the la latest live stream and then I missed the Fremo, sadly. Oh, what is this? Hmm. Um, all the hints we have in game have portrayed it is a country of war, but contradictory because of how lively it looks. That's what I was thinking. It's in the lore. I guess the war thing happens when you get deeper into the story of Natlin, I guess. I guess we'll find out. We'll find out what that's about because the from all the lore that I've read about Natlin, it's supposed to be like a wasteland. So when I think when we all saw like the happy, lucky Pokemon looking trailer, everyone was a bit confused. They're like, what is this? This is not Natlin. <laughs> It just not boring me because Sumeru's story isn't the most griping. I would just need to run through to get back onto it. Oh, interesting. I found Sumeru's story really interesting. I think the hardest part for me and Sumeru was exploring because it's so big. But I actually really liked the story. I was really engaged in Wanderer's storyline. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> um, what's wrong, Professor? What's wrong, Professor? You look troubled. I'm questioning why a lot of researchers mix pure science and m machine technology, or magic, magic technology? Huh? The power of magic that is at the root of magic technology has never been proved by science, but still they... Uh, professor? Yes? Aren't you going to question why you're talking to someone who has no clue as to what you're talking about? Lloyd? What? That is a very good question. I'm basically strengthening, straining on my thoughts regarding the question by talking to someone. So you're just gonna keep on talking, aren't you? <laughs> Lloyd's like, I'm too stupid for this. Oh god. Okay, we're grinding, we're grinding. <laughs> I'm really excited to finish the rest of Fontaine's storylines. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to like the Furina part. Furina's little part in the story yet. Which I know it's supposed to be really devastating. I saw like little, little teeny weeny spoilers when it was coming out because my feed was always filled with it. Okay. Um. Where is this area that I'm whoa, whoa, whoa looking? Where is it? Oh, it's this way. Tread it, uh, tree at ruins. Let's go. Oh, enter. What is this happy music playing outside in abandoned oh, so ruins? <laughs> Man, I'm beat. See, you're already worn out. I'm sick of this desert. I don't really like sand either. I actually really hate beaches too. Deserts. I have been to the desert before, actually, but and beaches, but I hate beaches. Beaches are nasty. What's wrong, Noish? Be on your guard. There are enemies about. I will knock in the water. Have you tried Zenla Zone Zero? Not enough time for all these games. I really wanted to play Zenla Zone Zero, but it's the same reasoning that I didn't pick up Honkai Star Rail. It's like I'm already playing other gacha games. There, I won't be able to. <laughs> uh, which is funny because I gave into playing Weathering Waves when it came out. Like I bought it like. Not bought it. I played it the day it came out. Mostly because I was intrigued to see what they would do differently. And I do actually really like Weathering Waves. Uh, I have spent a little bit on it, but not too much since I've I've been able to keep up with it for the most part. So I haven't really felt the need to spend too much. But currently, the gacha games I'm playing are Genshin, Weathering Waves, and Love in Deep Space. I don't know if anyone here plays Love in Deep Space because I think most of my viewers are male. And I know Love in Deep Space, typically, typically the demographic is women. Not saying that 
you know, it it it's only women who play. But I feel like most likely women play Love in Deep Space. But I've been I played that all day yesterday because they added a new love interest, and I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> I totally get that. Yeah, I really want to play Zenless Zone Zero, but I feel like if I play it, I won't be able to stay free to play. I know for a fact I won't be able to stay free to play. I don't wail on gacha games, but I definitely dolphin a little bit. Oh shit, we're fighting already. Wow, what is that? Tiger Blade, Demon Fang. Oh, oh god. Don't overdo it. Uh, what is he about to do? Fireball. Dang. Immediately just went for me. You picked the wrong 